YouTube. Welcome to some motherfucking Captain Goddamn Toad. Oh. All right. There we go, YouTube. We're back. We're here. We're playing. Uh, we're gonna be on our backs today. Let's bring the mic all nice and close. My back is killing me today. So, ooh, there's a little mic. There's some mic on the camera. All right. What's some motherfucking Captain Toad? Um, I need a good. I need to play a good game. <laughs> Um, I'm still, the jury's still out on Hat in Time. Um. See, where's a good place for me to be? Is not the green stars gonna be where my head is? I guess lives, okay. It's right here. Alright. God, I don't like the gyro. But whatever. Alright, alright. I need to play some damn Captain Toad. I'm super excited for this game. Actually, I love puzzle games. I've not played it. Oh, ah. Um, oh, that's a lot. I loved, um, a little bit. Uh, it's one of the few Wii U games I actually didn't own. Uh, I had a Wii U. And it's Prime. Um, I played basically all of, like, I had most of the major titles. I say most, I also didn't have them. Bubble freeze, so maybe, maybe that's yeah, some dirty rotten liar. Um, but I didn't have. I had a lot of a lot of the main titles. Okay, can I fall off the edge? Okay, I can't. I like a little red toad. Do I just need the star? Do I not need um? I need all three? I thought I need... Oh, he's not the green. I'm thinking of Mario 3D world level, so he needed all the green stars. So I don't need all the gem pieces. I just need the green. I just need the yellow star. Take a beer every time you beat a level. See how well this is going to work. On the touchpad, I'm sure it works a lot better. Oh, clack, clack, clack. <laughs> it's so cute. Right off the edge there. Yeah, there's a lot of gems I was missing. This is gonna have a gem grind too. And can I can I beat Toadette? Can I throw a multiplayer? I'm surprised we haven't gotten a new Captain Toad yet. I feel like these games aren't too hard to make. And so I kinda figured we could get a new one just to pass the time. Get a, get a, get a, some quick content in. Oh god, how much are we going to use this pointing mechanic? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like puzzle games. I like when they're short, like... like this game's two hours long, I think that's perfect. I love Tetris. Yali and I played a bunch of, uh... Poyo Poyo, Poyo Tetris! And that was a thing. Yeah, I know the, the phrase competitive Tetris is kind of crazy. It's... It's the highest selling game of all time. How... Yeah, asterisk, asterisk. For some stupid reason, um, I don't know why they're the, some stupid reason they count every single version of Tetris, which is really dumb. Which no, no other game can do that. So they count every Tetris, even like the spin-offs and stuff, as Tetris. It's that does not count. You don't get to count all the Mario's and say Mario's best selling game all time. But if you just say game franchise, it's not. Tetris is not the best selling game franchise, but. For some reason, it gets to count all of its versions. It's like a quarterback saying, Oh, I have the most yards of all time. And he counts his college and high school yards. I do wonder, on that note, who does? If you count college, high school, and NFL, who has the most like yards and touchdowns? My favorite uh, clip uh, instance of that is a... Is it, oh, what am I doing? Get off. It's a clip from um, Peyton Manning when he was a Bronco. It was one of our really good years, so every year with Manning was good, but he was having a, one of our really strong seasons. Uh, we were up by, it was late in the season, we are up by like 50 points, uh, whatever, you know, something like that. And for back, time for the backup. So he kept, um, 
he kept uh, this one time Brock Osweiler, our backup, got his helmet on and ran onto the field. And Peyton Manning stopped, put his arm in front of him and shoot him away. I don't know what it was for, but yeah, he shoot, he shoot him away and then Brock threw his helmet. Beisley or whatever it's called. Oh, God damn it, Cody. Son of a bitch, you... I didn't have desktop on. All, all that good dog about football. It's been me talking to myself. Oh, damn. Fucking... I, I've done a lot. I, did, I, I cut off a lot of Heath's dialogue in the past. It happens. Yeah. Because I always have desktop off because I have Facebook on all the time, and so I don't want, you know... That, so... John, I'm going to buy you a mic. Oh, is that John? Yeah, he's crackling. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm recording some Captain Toad before you record some Gungeon. It's it's recordception. Nice. Friend of the channel, Rich Eisen. Please, please, please hit me up, friend of the show, Rich Eisen. I was earlier we were talking about who do you think you can buy in college. High school and NFL, who has the best career, like, you know, most yards or most touchdowns? I have to say someone like Jerry Rice would probably be pretty up there. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of high schools and college have really high-scoring teams, really high-scoring games, Barry, so. Barry Sanders is definitely one of the top running backs, because he killed it at Oklahoma State, and he killed it in the NFL. I'm sure he did in high school, too. Exactly. Like, if he was killing people like that his whole career, I mean, like, can you imagine, like, high school kids trying to yeah. get someone like Barry like, come on. Come on. What's, what's crack a lacking, guys? Eh? Eh? Getting ready to uh, grab some picolytic sets and practice. Trying to figure out how to make it where my thing isn't constantly crackling anymore. I thought you fixed your mic problem. I did for my videos. I'm trying to fix it for Discord for, he, ah. uh, for Eric. Well, it doesn't ah. look like it's happening anymore, so maybe I fixed it. No, you're still cracking. Okay, well, screw you. <laughs> you can't say mean things to me, Jonathan. I'm recording this. I'll put this on my channel. All my fans will go after you. Uh, I apologize. You can stay subscribed to Green Mountain Gaming. Need more beer. Take a beer. Okay, give me a minute. You were doing beer too? Jonathan's uh, first I, I beer don't... on camera? Are you 21? 100. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Are you 21? 23. Okay. Yeah, they pointed out that she asked me, he's like, don't encourage people to drink, not 21. I'm like, 100 sub special, Jonathan's first drink. Well, right. He just shot guns of fucking beer. <laughs> like a, a tall daddy, like a 16 ouncer, just. Joke's he... on you, I do a white claw only, because I'm a wimp. Hey, hey they if have, you, they if have, you shotgun they have 22 you... ouncers. <laughs> if you shotgun the 22 ounce white claw and then like crush in your head and said, mama didn't raise no bitch. I would do everything I could in my power, like so much money, to be like, people need to subscribe to this guy. That was. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect a boss fight in Captain Toad. Boss like, I didn't expect. You're just climbing up a tower while avoiding a little blast. Oh, magma. I didn't notice the, didn't notice the lava. Shit, 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 shit. Drafting a 19 year old girl to war. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut this out. <laughs> just, this part isn't, <laughs> this part's not airing in the episode. This never happened. You think I edit these episodes now? I'm not just uploading them as is. It's weird. What a weird cut that was. Crazy that your audio corrupted. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just not gonna touch this topic. Yeah, it, like that's what I was just saying is we're not getting any new forms like nope. Auras. This is going to be just a straight up remake, and that's fine for the people that didn't get to play it. But the sixty dollar price tag disappoints me as yeah. somebody who did. Yeah, no, there's a zero percent chance we're getting anything new because. Even new modes, new new anything, we would have seen it by now. Oh shit. shit. The best I can ex I expect is an a Delta episode like story with focusing on either Manaphy or Darkrai. Mm hmm. But even then, yeah, we, we might get some minor things, but we're not getting anything major new. No, no Sinnoh forms. No. No Sinnoh forms. No new Pokemon. No new Dynamax. No Megas. Yep, no new Dynamax. No new Gigantamax, no new ma uh, Megas. Nope. Nope. Nothing, nothing new, because we would have seen it by now. I was hoping right. for, like, some sort of, like, primal thing for the Palkia and Dialga in them, but it doesn't look like it. People still think there's going to be, because the box art looked like they're yeah, transforming. Yeah, I was seeing that, I didn't get that. I, I couldn't figure out what they were talking about. Yeah, it just looks like they're glowing, like, preparing to use... 
Whatever their moves. Their moves. Yeah. Spatial yeah. rendered more time. The, the box art. Pokemon box art is really boring. Well, I was seeing people. What I was seeing was like, oh, they're interacting with each other. This hints at something, and I was like, but it doesn't look like they're interacting yeah. with each other. It looks like they're facing at each other. Yeah. Th that happens a lot. Happens a lot, yeah. But just in general, I hate Pokemon box art. Or Nintendo has some of the best box art. But. I'll admit that the main series Pokemon games are pretty boring, but like, the Risky Team games are pretty good. Yeah, no, all this, the spinoffs, like. You should have pretty decent box art. And yeah, you're right, the rescue team games have good box art, but God, the main the main games have the worst box art. That's a shame. Man, I really hope we get Rescue Team uh Time in Darkness remake. Yeah, I I kinda figured that's gonna come. If I'm a Betten man, I think I think we will. I hope so, because those are really good. Mr. Dungeon sold one point three million copies. That sounds good. I don't know my. It's the 39th best selling Switch game. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Like, to put that in perspective, uh, I'm trying to pull back up the list that I have. It's losing to Captain Toad. There you go, topical. Oh, yeah. Captain Toad. This game is also $40, too, which does help. Okay, so I just want to bring this up. Number 43 on the list is Thief Simulator. Tied with Enter the Gungeon. Hell yeah. So I just think that's funny. Uh, I'm going down the list now. I'm just like, okay. Fire Emblem Three Houses is 26, losing barely to Kirby Star Allies, which both lose to Momotaru Dunetsu. Hmm. Which I've never <laughs> heard of. Same. Among Us is number 19. That was $5. It doesn't count. <laughs> Monster on the Rise is 15. Oh, really? Damn, yep. that's really impressive. Um, Ring Fit Adventure is number 11. That's not pretty impressive, considering how expensive that game is. Crazy, how crazy popular thing the Unite's going to be since it's free and it's Pokemon. Very, very. Day one, at least, will be very popular. It, 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 might, it might wear off, but it's going to be big at first. Alright, so, top 10. Number one is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with 35.39 yep. at the mo current moment. Number two is Animal Crossing with 32.63. Because it came out during the pandemic and Nintendo created the pandemic. So Animal Crossing. Yep. <laughs> Number three is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with 23.8. So it's losing by almost 10 million units. Hey, hold on, hold on. I want to guess number four. Okay. I want to guess Breath of the Wild. You are correct, with 22.28. Hell yeah, I'm guessing Odyssey is 5. Am I right there? Is, is Odyssey 5? It is not. Ah, boo. Would you Christ. like to take a second chance? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Link's Awakening? No. Okay, I, get, I forfeit. Forfeit my guesses. Number 5 is Pokemon Sword and Shield at 21.10. I should have thought of that. But number six is Mario Odyssey. Ah, okay. With 20.83. Number seven is Super Mario Party with 14.79. I wonder how much more copies it sold when the online went live. Because I know it did. That is a good question. I know, I know it got a little burst. Number eight is Pokemon Let's Go with 13.28. Only Pokemon game I really hated. Number 9 is Splatoon 2 with 12.21. And number 10 is New Super Mario Bros. U with 10.44. Ah, Link's Awakening is not in the top 10, huh? Link's Awakening is number 17 with 5.49. I'm surprised. It's not higher. It is losing to Super Mario 3D World and Monster Hunter Ride. Well, they, I mean, they've confirmed Breath of the Wild 2 for next year, haven't they? And Splatoon 3. They said that they're, that's what they're aiming for. Fair. So if it does, and then Splatoon 3 should as well, so. Strong year for people who are into that. I'm not. I couldn't care less. I'm curious how well Splatoon 3 is new. Just because Splatoon 2 was, like, only such a partial upgrade. Yeah. Like, that could, that could really help, or it could really hurt. Yeah, the one trailer made it look like they were gonna kind of focus on single player, but who knows? It's just a short little trailer. 
I couldn't care. Splatoon is really fun, but they Nintendo themselves. The lack of options on online multiplayer. Really shitty story mode. What? You don't love Nintendo Switch Online? I also don't love that you can't pick your fucking map or your game mode. You have to just fucking hope that the game mode of the maps you want to play are on the rotation. That's dumb. Yep. It, was, it was dumb with Splatoon 1, it was really dumb with Splatoon 2. You can't shit Nintendo. If you're shitting Nintendo, why are you still playing them? Speaking of monkeys, fucking motherfucking monkey ball. I haven't set up a new monkey ball. It looks really fun. I'm just waiting for Ace Attorney next week. It's a pretty decent looking... Not the best year for Nintendo, but it's, a, it's an okay looking. It's an okay looking end to it. With, if Mario Party's fun. Um, what else? With, and Pokemon, I mean, who knows how. Down in Pearl, I expect it just to be generic down in Pearl, but pretty. Not, not on top of my head. I've never been a Meg Metroid guy. It looks really fun. I'm not a huge Metroid fan either. It's a game, again, I wouldn't mind playing later, but Nintendo games don't drop prices. A creative game that has annoying levels better than a game that's bland but inoffensive. I suppose it kind of depends on uh, like how long the levels are. All right, welcome back to the same fucking episode. I may have had a couple of uh, Red Bull, Coke, and Jack Daniels apple whiskey. Um, any hoozle? How y'all do it? We having a good old, a good old final grand old day. Let's fucking do this. Shit! I've consumed alcohol. Yeah, I did it. Who's who talking on our bullets? Hmm. Am I sober enough for this shit? The answer is probably not, right? Ah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Shit! Look at my dick, you big bird. I'm a little toad. I'm, sh I'm short. I'm slow. Wee! Was the boss fight? Ah, son of a bitch. Look at the whole tower again, because that would fucking suck. Ah. Suck my dick, Nintendo. He didn't design this game for drunk people. Shit. Uh. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. Don't get hit by the giant turnips and... I don't know. I don't know how we attack him. Giant turnips are bad. Use the barrier to have the wind. So we gotta, gotta commentate because they gotta, gotta capture this Cody. Shit. Shit. No, 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 no. He's not gonna. He's gonna disappear. And then he fucking. Oh, god damn it. Shit. Fuck me. So close. Right. Shout out to KZ's. Mentioned them in another video, but they're good. They're a damn good bunch of headphones. And disappear again. Oh, we yeah. got And disappear. Is that it? Is that it? Did we do it? We just ate a turnip. We're gonna fall. Do that now. Do that. Cool. <laughs> Let's go to that. Do that. Trash. Alright, this is my last sip of Dranklin. So, the end of Drone Cody. I don't know how to pump this. Is, this does not look great. But I can't pump because it's catch so. Ooh, thumb up. How do I? Now I'm thinking too hard about my fucking pumping. Fellas. Alright, I think that's Captain Toad. It's, this is gonna be a one episode game. 